So mum and dad came up to drop a little sister crowbot off. Sister of the brother. Too close. Came to join us. So there's a massive wave of fun going on here. Bit more waving. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of waving. We love a wave. Okay, so just a quick update, guys. We bought the new boat in Peterborough and we've had to take it all the way down the Neen, across the Anglian navigations, onto the Ouse, where we've ended up here in Hartford. And today we're gonna to do this tiny little stretch here towards St. Neots and hopefully no crashes. <laughs> So as it's been well documented, we've got a big bad boy leak. Now Bex has been scooping for days now and we need to get a move on. It's not ideal, but we're gonna have to keep chugging until we get back to our designated mooring a few days away to carry out a proper investigation. Coming into hunting, do you think Bex? Yes, I think you may be correct. So picture this guys, mum and dad are there waiting at the landing area and this happened. <laughs> fast. That's the first time I've done that on the whole trip though, weren't it Bex? Maybe you should try and get to the front. Mum over there, bless her, shooting vital exclusive footage for the vlogs. Well done Mum. Multi-angle photography. It's all happening here today. So if anyone could kindly let us know in the comments why someone in their right mind would put a lock over one of the paddles, because one was open and we still managed to get through, so please let us know. We spent ages thinking we had the wrong key. Some of these gates give you like a proper workout, they like can be really difficult to push, can't they? Building our muscles. They are, and others are really easy. Here he goes, Papa T helping out again. Good old Papa T. Good lad. I mean, we're getting really confident at this point in the journey. I think we're on day five here and and we're owning it now, these locks, aren't we? We've got a new system where we both, instead of one staying on the boat and one jumping up and doing the, the ropes, we both now jump up and both do the ropes. Yeah, we sort of have a system so that we each have a role and it kind of makes the whole thing a lot smoother, actually. One on each end, complete stability of the vessel. Good at this, get away from you. <laughs> yeah, we were kindly advised by another boater that in these locks where you can fit two boats side by side um, that we should be tying off at the front and the back because otherwise there's a risk of our big weighty narrow boat crushing one of those white things. Poor little buggers. Wave goodbye to mum and dad and sister T. Bye. Take me down to the garden and help me grow. Teach me how to heal. Teach me how to get less ill. The violence is 
So back to Marina here. We nearly ended up here. Lovely little Marina. Look at them. Yeah, this is where the uh, the lovely enchilada originated from. So this just shows you how lovely the boating community are. We were just coming up to this lock and unfortunately there was another boat that had broken down and was being towed along by another narrow boat. Everyone's always really willing to help out another boat or in need. Yeah, so we were looking for a nice like wild moor in here. Lo and behold, a bit further downstream we found a gorgeous little spot nestled between two lovely trees. And I got to use my plank again. I love the fact that I now am the proud owner of my very own plank. <laughs> there she is in all her glory. I mean, she is lovely, isn't she? She is gorgeous. I even if she does look like a can of Pepsi. <laughs> I like to think a Union Jack, actually. A very British vessel. Very patriotic. Extremely. 